I, Obviously, I, you're swiping I, her. Yeah, I swiped right. And did it say she swipes you too? No, not yet. All right. I'm still waiting. Hang in there. And do you, I don't know if you guys know this. She's from South Africa. Which yeah. Is kind of Africa. So she probably hates you. Right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> There's no chance. Welcome to the app that I was pop. At the distance, I switch your chin's love. Hey, y'all. Welcome to the app that I was pop. Gang, baby, praise God. Welcome to the app that I was pop. What's up? Real quick before we start the episode, just want to let you know, if you're watching this the night it comes out, I'm going to be streaming at midnight, Saturday, November 23rd for UFC Macau, Combat Buddy, Peter Yan versus Devison Figueredo, Slumber Party stream, midnight to 6 a.m. Make sure to join the Another MMA Podcast YouTube channel. Link will be in the description. See you there. <gasps> oh. Oh, I'm not in the mood for it today. Okay, you're not. Well, guess what? Okay. Guess who else is? Hold on, Nick. Guess who else is not in the mood for it today? <laughs> Me. I, I was gonna say it. Damn it. Oh, uh, you're messing up the microphone. I know the stupid thing. I was just, I was just gonna say earlier when I was asking if he would ask Brian. He was a little, a little snippy. I was like, I get, we gotta wait, wait for the quest after the epidural. Oh, look at me. <laughs> <laughs> Chin's pissed off. He's in pain. Yeah. There's a I'm difference. I'm pissed off. I'm dirty and stinky and tired. Oh, yeah, because you just moved. Yeah, we don't have hot water yet. I haven't showered in days. Ew. Pets' heads are falling off. Yeah. <laughs> so you're going to come in here and say that you're all... I'm not in a good mood. Welcome back to the after hour. This is a spicy one. I like this. Airing of grievances. Continue. We're all yeah. cranky. <laughs> <laughs> uh Yes, I was I was texted on Friday and I, I just felt some some energy from from Casey, but oh, he was also yeah. drinking and having a good time. So. Yeah, I was having uh, a blast <laughs> all weekend because I was like moving into the new space, the new new spot with the lady, and like Friday this is coming, and the furniture this day, and internet this day, and then like finally I had I felt like I had everything kind of dialed in semi. I still didn't have hot water, but I was like, you know, there's fights tonight. I got like a glass of wine. I got. I feel a little bit settled. So yeah, I was firing off. Who was I firing off at, Kev? I Nick. I think it was me. I think it was Nick. Uh, uh, I, I, I. It was someone else too because like, I was uh, when we were starting. I was on the way to the airport and then like went through security and stuff. Didn't have my phone and I looked back at my phone and it was just back and forth. <laughs> it was, it was a fun little group chat going on. Yeah. So we'll get. We're gonna keep that spice going from the group chat into today's show. Chin, tell us why you're mad. My pinched nerve pain is back and I'm a little bit sick right now. Oh, that's right. You have a little cold. Yeah. I thought it'd be bit like way better by today, but no. Well, I'm sorry, buddy. Thanks, man. Well, you know what? I hope you get to shower soon too, man. MRI tomorrow, though. Hmm? MRI tomorrow. I'm gonna go to the pain clinic to to get it. You know, just to see if they're gonna do an MRI. If they do an MRI, then I have to wait and get an appointment for the epidural. Is that are you doing the MRI before or after your Pap smear? Nice, roasted. <laughs> That's girl stuff. Yeah. You said smear. <laughs> I did say smear. Hell yeah. yeah. <laughs> Uh, in the group chat when we were g going back and forth, I really appreciated. Uh, there's been a couple times we type something and it sends the exact same time. I, I mentioned uh, Festivus and we both oh, said yeah. airing of grievances yeah, yeah. at the same time. At the time. same time. <laughs> you touch tips. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, there, was, there was another one and I, and I was to ask you. I was just like, case, same page. Now, yeah, Casey. we're on the same wavelength, bro. It feels good. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Um, where did you get? Where did you watch the Tyson fight at your house? Just I wa moving in? Yeah, I watched the Tyson fight at home um, on like an iMac, just set up on the on the ground. Didn't have the TV up yet. Um, ah, here you go. You can look oh, at it right wow, there. Look at that <laughs> that oh, place looks it's nice. nice. It's nice. So now see that like um, look at those metal. Little toes. I know. See the metal thing above the thing. That's mm -hmm. where the TV is now. So it's nice and dialed in. But you just kick it there. Uh, you watch a football game. Let's kick it with the dogs. We got a new couches, brand new couch. The point five uh, always throws up. How uh, how far away is that? Because to me, that TV is going to be too small and too hot. Oh no, that, that, that's my me. iMac. That's not a TV. I, I know, I know. It's going to go above the mantle. Let's see. This is see if this, I have an updated pick for you guys. Hence my too high fears. Here you go. Look at this. Here you go. Look at this. Up oh, there. You go. Look oh, at that. Okay, that's good. Yeah. Yeah. 
Okay, now that's, that's an updated that, yeah, picture. That's great. <clears throat> I, TV, and this happens with mantles, a little high. Yeah, wait, 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 wait. He's got double TV going. Well, that's just because uh, that's temporary. That one's back in another room now. You're supposed to sit, just look at the wall, and put a post-it note right where you're looking, and that should be the center of the TV. Yeah. Well, it's a little bit like you're looking up, but not terribly dissimilar to our eye line at the moment, and I don't hear anyone complaining. <laughs> I think it is terribly dissimilar. Okay. I think this is only slightly above it. But So uh, you're saying it's supposed to be eye level? Uh, I or, or like slightly above, especially depending on like people are going to be walking through and stuff. Mm. But I got re I got really into this uh, when I mounted my TVs in my current place because it it's a thing. Like oftentimes it's because people have fireplaces and they put it above the fireplace and it's way too fucking high. I posted this on like my story um, uh, a couple years ago like at christmas and i got so many people sending me in their setups and they're like great this one and like it's an epidemic TV's yeah too high there's a whole reddit account a reddit uh, subreddit about tv too high yeah you I, know you know what else is after that you know what else is at eye level the moon <laughs> <laughs> look at it look at the moon <laughs> it's at an eye level uh <laughs> mris also had a thought about that um yeah. how long do you go how long is yours like how long do you go in there and have to be still i totally forgot yeah. is it like 15 15 Probably fit, yeah. uh because in college i would i was very poor and uh i would also i would give plasma twice a week for like 60 70 bucks a week uh but then also sometimes they'd have those like you can go get yourself tested and i would go get mris and like but you'd have to lay in there for like two hours that's like a cat scan then right no uh, I think they were doing MRIs because like I would be looking at stuff and they'd like be uh, checking the images as you're looking at stuff and stuff. So I, these were just like elective MRIs, and you would get <laughs> yeah through the school. Gotcha. They're doing research, so it was for them to like practice MRIs. Yeah, Got yeah, it. and and probably actually testing something. I was probably in some mm -hmm. some tests. So you have to lay in there for two hours, but those, those paid pretty well. It was like sixty dollars an hour, which was awesome mm -hmm. in college. <laughs> uh, Anybody else? MRIs? You, you guys, you <laughs> Never guys, uh, MRIs. claustrophobic? Wait, time out. This okay. is this is Chin. That's Chin. Okay, that's uh That's you right now. Why? Sunglasses. <laughs> oh fuck. Mark. Alright, yeah, I've had an MRI. <laughs> 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 Tough crowd. Let me just uh, work on this uh, face swap. Uh, uh, what, uh, what? What for, Mark? What was this for? I don't know if I was in it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I've broken my collarbone. Uh, Bladen or what? Uh, no. Uh oh. I was riding a scooter. A motorized scooter, like it was a gas powered scooter, so it had like a, like a, like this is like a razor, but with a motor on it. And it was like mm -hmm. a gas powered one, not like the electric ones before they became lime scooters or whatever. So it was like, I bought a motorized one and it had like a weed whacker engine on it. It was super loud, but it was cool. It was really fast and it broke Sounds like and too it, fast. it was a little bit too fast. So it broke, but it had like bike handles on it. So you squeeze a trigger and it goes and I was fucked up. So I just, I was fucking with it and driving it steering with my wrists like this and I go to turn into my driveway and I ate shit and I was oh. you know I had to go mm. I broke it and I was like immediately I knew it was broken went to the hospital got x-rays the whole thing what mm. what's the re recovery how do you did they do surgery or they just, just like a sling. a sling oh a sling yeah uh all would you say you were going all gas no brakes <laughs> yeah I was so driving fast and using only the, gas future. <laughs> yeah <laughs> driving fast all gas yeah all weed water. <clears throat> that's where I came up with the name of it yeah it's my name you should put a whipple in that scooter and then give it away yeah <laughs> uh, what's a whipple yeah I don't fucking know <laughs> but we keep putting them in stuff yeah we'll make some <laughs> <laughs> Do you know what a whoop is, kid? Uh, no. uh -uh. I learned about it cards? Uh, when we started working here. When they started putting stuff, putting them into stuff and then giving them away. Yeah. Nice, so, nice. Yeah. Are you giving me the finger slyly? You were giving me the No, I was going like this. Right I was going there. double I was going double fingers. So oh, I was going like It was really hidden. That was It was kind of like I was listening to you intently. Yeah. Um there was a illusion which uh I hear Mark G might be coming in for an episode. Ooh. We'll see. The magician. He's uh -huh. busy. 
Oh, yeah. <laughs> you know, that video went kind of viral, so he's a little bit busy. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, time out. All right, maybe this lands. <laughs> maybe this lands. That's Chit. I, I knew yeah. it. I knew it. I, <laughs> I was going to say, I meant it's going to be short with Arnold with Chit's face. <laughs> Dude. So you must have been doing that as you were telling your broken collarbone story. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. I was like doing it. You saw. I, I was saw. doing it as I'm telling the story. Um, is is so AI that, doing that or is that, do you just straight Photoshop? Because that is really good. No one knows. Um, <laughs> yeah. That uh, it's that, AI. Oh, wow. You just take two photos and it, you know, blends the faces together. Within Photoshop? No, just a website. Oh. So I, I found, I just, I literally Googled Chin's name, found a, found uh, this photo, which is also equally as funny. This cute little photo of Chin. Look how Aww. cute. Wow. It is a nice pic. And then I found the Terminator <laughs> photo and blended them together. I, but I was like chubbier there and uh, never mind. But you look pretty darn good here. You no, know, I, I don't see, okay, that's me old. That looks freaking like legit. <laughs> Yeah, no, this is like too legit. You should be for this for reason, Halloween next year. <laughs> Back to being pissed at you, man. What the <laughs> fuck? Man, you we are cranky yourself, and it's paying off. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, so AI is pretty cool. Um, AI is pretty cool. Nice. Sorry, that's I'm looking a, at a picture. Chin, of that's Shin. like a Raya. Um, you know, are you on Raya? No, I'm on. Oh, well, you no maybe should no get apps. on Raya. Yeah, that's a prof pick. Great segue. That's a, that's a profile pick. To something uh, Kevin and I chatted on the way here. Uh, I won't step on it. You, you say, Kevin. <laughs> yeah, I was swiping through Raya as I do when I'm chilling. And uh, guess who I saw? A very famous actor. Actor? Actors. I know the answer. <laughs> um, it's Trump's America. We say actor and actress now. Okay, okay, okay. okay. Actor. Um, <laughs> Go ahead. No, I was gonna give you a hint, but do you wanna you just wanna try to throw out some names or what? Oh, I yeah. Let's let's do a little like hot cold with yes. like mo yeah, yeah, movies yeah. and uh, shit. Let me bring, Anna let me bring Kendrick. No, <laughs> that's a good guess. That's a good guess. Yeah, say like a movie she's in or like a, gotcha. like a twenty one questions type. Gotcha. <laughs> yeah, I've got an MRI. <laughs> <laughs> Googling actresses. Um, I know. Uh, Sandra Bullock. Oh, I mean Speed. Fuck. Sorry, Nick. Meryl Streep. You're supposed to say movie or else Nick's going to ring oh. you. No, movie, at, or is it uh, blonde hair? Oh, we're playing like guess 20 who? questions. Got it. Does she, she have blonde hair? She has blonde hair. That's good. Is she white? She is white. Okay, blonde Madeline hair. Madeline Klein? White. She is not that. Person. Is she in her 30s? Is she American? She's in her 40s, and she is not 40s. American. She's not American. Now I forget who it is. In her 40s, though. So she's oh. in her 40s. Uh -huh. White, blonde hair. Would you still fuck her? Well, yes. It's a bit crass, no? It, it was, it was. That's <laughs> kind of casting a wide net. <laughs> 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 Would you ask her to go lay down? Would you high five her yeah. <laughs> and make it super awkward <laughs> and then point to the couch and say, lay down? <laughs> <laughs> what is that voice? I don't know. You guys are struggling. All right, here. she's You're, white, yeah. white, blonde, not, not American. American, and in her forties. Anne Hathaway. Nope, she's brown hair. She is in one of the biggest movie franchises out there. She movie was she in. Um, she's been in an Oscar. Was she an Italian movie? job? Was she yes. a love interest in Italian job? Oh, uh, Charlize Theron. <laughs> Yeah. Fuck yeah. Yeah, no. Fuck yeah. Nick is the man. But didn't you guys, I thought you guys talked about it already. We did. We did. We were just speeding yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's the quick that's eject I knew the whole of the game. I knew as well. Just for the record. You wow. looked? I knew it. I knew it. But I like to be so, a good sport. Let's get into it. Did you, you swipe? Like, yeah, they matched. They went out to you, eat. He no, banged. No. Oh, my God. You got me for a sec. Did, they, did you? I, obviously, I, you're swiping I, her. Yeah, I swiped right. And did it say she swipes you too? No, not yet. All I'm right. still waiting. Hang in there. And do you, I don't know if you guys know this. She's from South Africa. Which yeah. Is kind of South Africa. So she probably hates you. Right. <laughs> <laughs> There's no chance. Yeah. <laughs> I have no chance. Hold on. Oh, chin chin. Here we go. Oh, oh my God. Oh, yeah. Oh, that, that was Kumail Nanjiani. <laughs> yeah. Look at that. Tinder. 
Oh, that's from way back. Dang. Yeah, I used to work out a bit oh, more. It seems pretty recent. If we have enough ladies watching this that would like to date Shin or no. Kevin, please submit to the After Hour Pod at gmail.com. Not for me. Now, not for me. Would why you, would you not, Shin? Yeah. There's reasons. Huh? Would you There's act, reasons. He's gay. Are you dating someone? No. He's gay. I'm gay. Would you actually use well, then guys. Would you use yeah, this as a profile either. picture? Are you just for real? That would be I like think a, I would. Humi- like a, a humor. Post There's no it. Asian guys that are that hairy, for one. Yeah, that's that. The so they would know it's a lie. But that's kind of, this is kind of, there's something to be said about funny profile pics. It oh, gets, yeah. a, gets him in. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. That's all. Yeah, I used to go with the Photoshop ones, like maybe six picks in. You six need, picks. I'm talking yeah. first pick. For, nah. As, you're a goofball, bro. First, <laughs> well, first pick is like, oh, this guy's funny. Then Trying you're in. too hard to be I, funny. Yeah, yeah I, but that, mm. then, then, then you don't want that girl if yeah, she true. doesn't have a sense of humor. Mm. Mm. There's definitely a strategy to the order and got, type. Got my lady. Oh, got my lady too. So, right. so look at you uh, guys. They're I don't know what married. my first what my first oh, my God, picture it? was, but it also got my lady. There you go. Um, it was really the conversation uh, that I had like right away. She she was like in. She she said visiting from Canada, and I said how long do I have to woo you? And she said three weeks. And I sent a gif of the easy button. Oh, that's she, good. She she really liked it. And then the first date, I was just like, uh, I just sent her comedy uh, comedy show tickets. Oh, uh, nice. We said we were going out this day, and I said this time. I was like, I have an Uber pick you up. It was smooth as fuck. Smooth, bro. <laughs> Taking my <notes>. guy's smooth. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, it was also a Theo show, but I did not tell her that like I work for him. And then we just like walked in, and he was right there. And he was like, Oh, Nick, what's up? Yeah, just. Yeah, it was really just start to finish. Yeah. she had no chance. That's like so LA. I, mean. <laughs> I did the same thing, by the way, with the last with girl. With my I girlfriend? No, <laughs> the last girl. I took her to one of a either a Brendan's comedy shows or something where you know, if they see Brendan, some people will notice me, right? So I took her to that. I didn't say shit. I go, I just work, you know. I'm a producer for this guy, and then as we're hanging out in the comedy store, you know, the bar area, people start walking up. Hey, and then she was just like. What's going on? Mm-hmm. And it totally worked. Uh, that Eric tried to throw us a solid when we went to uh, his show. It was me, my girlfriend, oh, yeah. and her friend from out of town who lives with her boyfriend, and she came <laughs> along with us. But uh, Eric thought it was a double date, so like after the show, he, he came up and said hi. He thought he was like giving us assist, an assist. Yeah, but, like a celebrity coming up to us. Uh, even though they weren't out on a date, the girl said uh, she, she thought Chin was very sweet and had like good game. He, and he wasn't. He was just like conversation. I was just yeah, just being myself. Yeah. She was she she was into it. That's uh, cool. Yeah. Who's in an MRI next? <laughs> <laughs> are you trying to snap your wrist off? What the oh, hell? Oh man, doing? sometimes it helps a little bit. But wait, is the MRI when you sit in the tube? No, CAT scan. I That's think. a CAT yeah, scan. Do this shit. Man, I fucking forgot. I did oh. both. I did both. So yeah, the I, MRI, <clears throat> I definitely did an MRI, and it was it was a tube. That's mm. what that is. Yeah, and then play like the loud noises and shit, and it sounds like crazy. I totally and then I've had one. Nice. You know what? They gave me a freaking CD to give to a doctor when I first did it. And that CD's gone. So, like, everything's in there. I wish they, my hospital record oh, like all the pictures. transferred over. Yeah. But they just, it was like a physical CD. Yeah. That's the, insane. Cause, yeah. Because they, they give you the, <coughs> like, I've asked for the images. I'm like, just send me them, email me them. Like, yeah. But they have them as, like, not like a JPEG image or whatever. Mm-hmm. Like, your, your computers can't read it. So I, dude, I bought like a CD thing for my laptop to read the images and like, so I can look at, uh, it was like, I had a MRI on my head cause I was getting headaches at some point. Oh shit. And, uh, so I was, anyway, I went there to just get it checked out and you have to like, they don't, their software just, it's, you, different. it's different than our laptop. So you can't see it, which is yeah. annoying. So I had to go into a special website and then you could do it there. You even got rid everything. That's awesome. Yeah. Pretty good with like file uh, Mm -hmm. management. Yeah, (laughs) yeah. It's one of my hidden talents is file management. Yeah, (laughs) a little pretty technical over here. It's a it's a very important thing. Although looking at your desktop right now, I don't know. Wow, just random images. There's this just well, if you want to see the other desktop, it's pretty brutal. I don't. Because I'm like screenshotting stuff all day, and yeah. and so I have two monitors, so like my desktop just becomes littered with screenshots you, that so I don't even care. You should change the uh, folder that you sc- screenshots go to. I do have a screenshot folder, but it's not here. 
Where do you want it? But it doesn't leave go my in. desktop out of this. <laughs> it, it, it doesn't automatically go into the screenshot folder. No, but I can't. I should make it do that. Casey yeah, has that's a good the first question. thing I do when I get my computer because I screenshot all the time as well. And I yeah. need that. Casey had a good question. Where'd you watch the Tyson and uh, Jake Paul thing? Just uh, trying to get us out of this nerd hole. Yeah, yeah. Sorry, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> you should. You could put your screenshots in a separate <laughs> screenshot folder. Thank you. Uh, everybody, you can't out there. You can. You can it's real easy. Just go screenshot. Uh, I watch it at home uh i've since i've gotten back from new york uh my co-producer of theo show zach he he went to we got back from new york on thursday he left for japan on vacation on thursday so it's been like double the workload and i've just been like the only thing i didn't do that w was work this weekend was wa uh, stream the fights uh but like around that i've just been editing um so i watched it at home and I'm glad I did and didn't go anywhere because of how shitty the stream was. And the, I mean, the fight was boring. The two fights before it were really good. Uh, Amanda Serrano got screwed, and so did I. Thus, because mm. uh, I, I bet three hundred dollars on her. Mm. Um, and yeah, it was. I liked it though. I like any cultural event like that where everybody's at home watching the same thing. That's like fun. Yeah. Did you have any streaming issues? Uh, I did. Uh, did it freeze? Uh, I crack streams. I p pulled up on my computer because that kept freezing, and that worked like way better. Yeah, that's what everybody was saying. But I, and for a while, like I was ahead. But I think some of these streamers, and I think if you did this at home, if you just paused it and you went behind like thirty seconds, it worked a lot smoother. I don't know if anybody had that issue. Well, how about like Mike you. Tyson's butt? Yeah. <laughs> Do you guys think that was intentional? No. No. Yeah. I, I, Not in any facet. But, yeah. man, but genius it was like producing. the biggest. Genius. Like, that got shared so much. Yeah. If, they, if, it, if anybody did that, they're uh, evil genius. Where do you guys watch it? Uh, Kevin boycotted, which I respect. Uh, <laughs> Dude, I was, I was dead. That I was, was so funny. I couldn't stop laughing. Um, and then so also, good. I actually wanted to look at the, uh, this last week. Um, can you find that uh, interview with the little girl? Uh, Twitter, Mike Tyson. Yeah, hold on. I just want to just, yeah, there we really go. Better shot of it. Yeah. Oh, I know what you're talking about. Oh, that was the other thing we said yeah. at the exact same time. Uh, you said you guys see Mike Tyson's butt, and I yeah, sent yeah. a screenshot of the butt. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> literally the same minute. Yep. Uh, mm. The All ass right. cracker right, around the world. Yeah. And then I sent it to the Golden Hour group chat the meme with Lizzo who wore it better and it was like <laughs> wearing it like the exact same thing. Mark, do you watch it? The Tyson fight? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that, uh, that stuff is just, it makes me mad. It makes me mad for the state of like sports and entertainment and stuff. Yeah. I didn't watch it. It's de it like, it's infuriating. I, I go, I if the fight would have been better, like I feel like it's a means to an end where people who w won't normally watch combat sports would. But when it turns out like that, it doesn't stream well. Like I think it well, ultimately only hurts it. No, I mean, I don't care about this. The well, stream uh, being able You're to like, watch I don't it, care about combat sports. No, being able to watch it <laughs> is being able to watch it is important. And that's really not my issue. It's more like you know, the whole spectacle, it's more of a spectacle fight. Yeah, 100%. Of, you know, and Brennan actually had, I thought he had a good take of like, what are we doing here? Like, we're what's the win if, if Jake Paul knocks Mike Tyson out, like what's the win there? Like, who cares? You know, and mm -hmm. if Mike Tyson wins, then he's great. All right, he's still the greatest, but I know it's just, it's just weird. And then it, and then there's no payoff at the end. It's just like, and then you, then you get like a Logan Paul, like doing the, this shit in the background, spraying his deodorant and all that stuff. You just feel like, can we just have a moment where it's not like a marketing yeah. fucking moment? Could we just have like a real event where, and that's why like the UFC event is just so much better. Yeah. And it's just, I don't know, just feels like they're stealing from us. And then they're, and then they <laughs> immediately promote like 60 million views. It's like, dude, just take a beat. Like yeah. <laughs> we're all pissed off at this, the event. Can you just take a moment to not like flex a little bit? Just in our face. Yeah. yeah we it's like 60 yeah. million people. <laughs> yeah. yeah. You just, I, I mean, as a viewer, you just feel, manipulated i yeah. guess and taken and, advantage of it's and it's also annoying. like um uh it's it, it's idiocracy come to life yeah have you, have you seen, oh yeah like yeah. i've everybody said this it's like a cliche thing but like it just keeps getting further than that like mm -hmm. the real ultimate idiocracy is when the rock is eventually president mm -hmm. which uh i tweeted in 2016 that was going to happen in 2032 and i still think there's Pretty good, pretty good shot of it. Getting closer. Um, I have a theory about this video. 
by the way. Uh, should we watch it and hear your theory, or should we hear your theory and then watch it? Let's watch it and hear the theory. Hold on. I'm not sure that the sound will work. I don't know how to do it. Uh, it will if you plug Once it. Once I plug it in, I'm so embarrassed. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, shout out to Mark uh, for showing up in the uh, Combat Buddy chat on Saturday uh, during the UFC fights. Yeah, that's fun. That was fun. Well, you posted to your story, and I'm like, oh, he's live now. Yeah, <laughs> that's why I do it. So I went to the chat. <laughs> I went to the chat and chimed in. And then I said a bunch of nice things while Mark was watching, so his enthusiasm for this show grew up. Oh, nice. <laughs> but also, I believe them. So, Mark, you didn't feel manipulated by him promoting <laughs> his show? No. I Maybe. <laughs> He's um, like, maybe now. <laughs> I didn't really think about it until right now. <laughs> um, all right, let's see what happens. What type of legacy would you like to leave behind when it's all said and done? Well, I don't know. I don't believe in the word legacy. I just think that's another word for ego. Legacy doesn't mean nothing. That's just some word everybody grabbed onto. Someone said that word and everyone grabbed on the word, so now it's used every five seconds. It means absolutely nothing to me. I'm just passing through. I'm going to die. And it's going to be over. <laughs> okay, legacy after that. Him well, staring at you. Yeah. I'm going to die. I want people to think that I'm this. I'm great. I'm, no, we're nothing. We're just dead. <laughs> we're absolutely nothing. <laughs> you Our can pause it there, Mark. So, <laughs> she's like, he's, he's just telling us, okay. Her, resp yeah. her response. She's, she's incredible. This yeah. girl is going to be working. Oh, you want to see her response? Yeah, Go yeah. Ahead, then. She was like, I've never... Thank you so much for sharing that. That is something that I have not heard before someone say that as an answer. So thank you so much for giving me that kind of idea. Because, of course, well. I'm a yeah. Really yeah. Imagine All right. Now you can pause the bar. So I think after uh, the Hasbulla thing, uh, where he thought Hasbulla was a child and then learned that he was actually an adult, I think Mike Tyson thinks children are adults now. <laughs> I, 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 someone did tell me that they heard that he thought that was an adult. Really? So, yeah, yeah. So I think I think you're. Spot. I was just straight up goofing. He's like, better. He's like, better safe than sorry. Now <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna treat all adults, or, or, all children as adults, all, all children as adults. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Which is also a dangerous uh, <laughs> way, to, way to operate. Yeah. But <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I feel like picking up a, an adult thinking it's a child is the better, safer. For sure. Actually. For sure. Uh, just incredible. It's one of my favorite moments live television ever that's it so felt very funny. like like a tim and eric sketch yeah <laughs> the way he stares into her yeah. soul after yeah and, and then they like kind of cut in a little bit closer like yeah. <laughs> good comedic editing there. yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. and she's just like go oh. <laughs> right on yeah i hadn't uh considered um death as i mean I'm he raises 10. a good point yeah. you're not gonna know about your legacy when you're gone who cares you're right did right, you man. guys ever watch uh mike tyson's mysteries no. no. The animated thing? Right. Yeah. It was a animated show, kind of like Scooby-Doo, called Mike Tyson's Mysteries, where Mike Tyson's actually voiced by uh, Mike Tyson, and then there was a pigeon voiced by Norm MacDonald, and a ghost who was played by, uh, voiced by the guy who, the bald principal from Community. Uh just incredible ca cast and norm mcdonald was so funny it's it's a really good show and they're only like 12 minute episodes or something something uh, is this like an adult swim thing <gasps> yeah it was yeah. Like, good, it was, good guess. uh i i sent you a oh who's that <laughs> this is donald. nice to meet you oh nice nice <laughs> what's up 47 <laughs> uh, <laughs> Welcome, welcome. I sent you a link to a, a clip of. Uh, oh, I gotta pay attention. I I uh, don't know if it's a good oh. link. It's just the first one I found on Twitter. But anything Norm Dowd said was pretty funny. Yeah. If you want to come with me, I'm about to take Sherman to obedience school, and then I have to pick up my two other kids. Wait a minute. You have two more kids other than the two? Are you trying to tell me that somebody fucked you four times? <laughs> <laughs> Pigeon. No offense. Oh, okay. Well, I'm sure that smoothed it all over. So, Meg, what does your husband do? He works in the IT department for an alarm systems company. Oh, that sounds fun. <laughs> How does that sound fun? I'm just making conversation. You could ask her something you know. Oh, uh... Hey, Meg. When you're on your period... Oh, my God. <laughs> you don't even know what I'm going to ask. 
<laughs> Man, when you're on your period, do you still like to get fucked? <laughs> <laughs> I did not <laughs> if you want to come with me, I'm about to take Sherman to a meeting. That's over. great. Yeah. yeah. I love it how the, that clip didn't have any Mike Tyson, but. Uh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and yeah, they're Scooby Doo and they're going around solving mysteries. It's it. Mike Tyson's mysteries. Great show. Great show. And uh, just some Norm MacDonald that some people who may be fans of him haven't seen. Yeah. What else we got? I went to Lion King the musical, briefly talked about it last night, but it turned into a discussion about how the Las Vegas shooting wasn't real. Oh, uh, so I wanted to talk with you guys. Mm -hmm. uh, you guys like musicals? Yeah. Uh, uh, no. No? Not a I hate them. I, I, I like a musical um, IRL, but not um, like a m movie musical. Agreed. Agreed. Uh, I like IRL musicals as well, except the Newsies. I, I would say that's one of the f only movie cinema musicals that I like. I'm not familiar. Newsies? Yeah. Open the gates and see. This is a bunch of kids. Day. Don't be afraid and don't delay. Nothing can break us. No one can make us give our rights away. Yeah. <laughs> thanks, thanks, thanks. I have no idea. Uh, but Christian Bale is uh, in it. It's a really good movie. I don't know. I'm seeing some prime AI face swap potential here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Do uh, your thing, Mark. <laughs> uh, but I really... Give me a few minutes. <laughs> also, actually, South Park, the movie, is also kind of a musical. Oh, yeah. I mean, they just can't possibly do anything wrong. Yeah, yeah. I've seen Book of Mormon live in Minneapolis off Broadway. But that was my first actual Broadway show, Lion King the Musical. And I've wanted to see it since I was, like, 10. Because, like, on the Disney Channel and, like, commercials, they show, like making the costumes like that that looks dope and lion king's the first movie I ever saw in theater so it's like and you all... you were in new york when yeah, you did? yeah nice um last week we did uh Mr. recorded Mr. four episodes in uh i gotta cut that because the episode oh, won't be out yet it's all good um but yeah we recorded uh some episodes and around it went to lion king the musical nice. it was incredible is it freezing over there right now no, uh, it was beautiful Perfect. fall New York weather. It was awesome. The last day got like, it was like 45 and kind of cloudy, but that was as bad as it got, got and it was awesome. We're talking about the weather now. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's gotten there. Oh, one time when we went to a restaurant in New York, or no, this might have been Austin, because we were in Austin for four days and in New York for four days. <clears throat> At some restaurant, we ordered, and the aforementioned Zach, uh, my co-producer for this past weekend, he ordered a burger and we all ordered and his burger came out like almost immediately and we were like holy shit that's weird we ordered an app like and uh he takes a fry he dips it in the ketchup and the lady comes back and she's like oh i'm sorry that's not yours and she takes the plate with a fry in the ketchup thing nah. and she it looked like she went and delivered it no way <laughs> it was it was wild no you just leave him with that burger and make a new burger <clears throat> yeah i it's I like seeing bad service. It's like entertaining. I don't really yeah. want it to happen to me and I don't want to wait around. I don't want to get caught with a check, but witnessing it yeah. is wild. <laughs> I'm just uh, I'm just watching what's happening outside. That's why that's why I wasn't totally engaged, sorry. No, it's all good. It got us all. <laughs> I'll tell you a story. Nick ordered a burger. They brought the wrong burger and he he punched the uh waiter. Yeah. That's messed up, dude. Yeah. Just leave the restaurant. Yeah, and get asked for your money back. They apologized <laughs> to me and brought and comp the bill and fired that wait waiter. Yeah, hell yeah, that's awesome, dude. Yeah, yeah. People said uh, customer service has gone down since COVID, and I don't think so. I thought yeah. I was very impressed by that. Hmm. Oh, I forgot. It's a very special day. Huh. It's the four-year anniversary of Mark going to Major Domo. Oh, come on. I was going to tell you about that. <laughs> <laughs> I, I didn't want us to forget this, this momentous day. That's right. You read it wrong. It was my four, it was my four year wedding anniversary. I didn't read it wrong. And you don't we have wedding went, here. It, it's more of a, it's a note. It's not like a sentence to read. <laughs> yeah, okay. Okay. <sighs> well, congrats on four years. Thanks, Tell us man. We went to major domo. <laughs> <laughs> I got MRIs. <laughs> Yeah, dude. Major Dome was pretty cool. I have no idea what it is. It's uh, David Chang's restaurant. restaurant. Yeah. You know I like, David Chang? I like getting Major Domo. Oh, dude. Dude, hell yeah. <laughs> nice. That was sick. Nice. Hey, yo. 
We need a points. Guys. We need like a a chime for like when you get points. Yeah, Yeah. zinger. Is it? It's in like Eagle Rock or something like that, right? It's in uh, Chinatown. Oh, Chinatown. Close. So far. Very close. So far. Uh, (laughs) (laughs) They have food there. Look, they have food. Oh, that's good. It's kind of nice. It's like Asian Asian fusion. Mm -hmm. What is it fused with? Um, multiple that's a Asians. Great question. Oh my god. No, that they have like a short rib and stuff like that. So, I think it's multiple Asian cultures fusion. Yeah, that's 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 that was. I'll the people. Yeah, the, I was I was gonna clarify. What, the, that was a sincere question. What's the vibe <laughs> like there? Um, the vibe is high. <laughs> <laughs> is the music too loud? I went to a no, couple. No, no, it's cool. We actually we sat at the this like counter top. I don't know if you could. Uh, oh, right here. <laughs> right, right about. Right there. Can you see oh, Mars? So there's a counter in there. Yeah, Dude. I see it. <laughs> right here, which is uh, that's a bar. Love sitting at the bar. Yeah, I like a bar sit. There. So we sat at the. Well, there's a bar, and then there's a count, uh, the chef's counter, Ooh. which is cool. The chef's counter, as you can see, into the uh, kitchen and stuff, which is always kind of nice, because while you're waiting to see what you want for dinner, you see all the stuff coming out, yeah. and you're like, "What the? Hey, what's mm. that?" And you ask the guy, "What's that?" <laughs> Um, I could be a chef's counter. What'd you have? One. Ooh, we, we had like some rice dishes. <laughs> we had like way too much food. <laughs> good That's a job. It's not as good as Major Doma, the Major Doma joke, but it's up there. Thanks, thanks, thanks. Yeah. Uh, so where is this is by by me then? You, you just said where it's it was. It's in Eagle Rock. Rock. Town. Yeah, that is pretty close. Yeah, it's pretty awesome. Um, I recommend going there. That's it. That's my plug. How long, how, how long in advance do you have to reserve? Cause this I, is a pretty... I did it like two days in advance. Oh, I did it like wow. six months. I'm like a really good husband. I've <laughs> nice. planned it so far in advance. Wow. Were you, it was this like the place you wanted to go or did you just find reservations of like what was open and you're like, we'll go here. That, <laughs> <laughs> um, I don't know. Reservations are always tough to get in LA sometimes, but especially like the longer you wait. Mm-hmm. Um, I don't but know this, this place was a good option that was open i don't know if it's a uh, a thing in la but i've heard in new york like there's a whole economy of people just getting reservations and then there's websites to sell the reservations and people were like making a living off it in the beginning when there was only a few but i don't know it's horrible because it's like, terrible yeah. i heard like a decade ago this was a thing in san francisco the street parking was so bad people would park in a spot and there was an app where you could sell your parking spot. Basically scalping. Yeah, and it just like, it creates artificial scarcity. They mm-hmm. would do that with um, tea times Yeah, up until recently. How, how, do, how do they stop it? Like if you they, don't- Well, they changed the whole system where you have to give a $10 deposit for your re- uh, each tea time. So and each, so for a tea time of four, it's $40 reservation. And I have seen $10. that on some places to give reservations too, you have to- the downside is it's non-refundable. So like yeah. if you have to cancel your reservation, you lose 10 bucks, which is a pa- huge pain in the ass. Um, but yeah, they would do the same thing. They would have a, it was like a Korean text chain or app and they would just resell them kind of thing. So when, they shut it down and changed it. When you uh, were looking for a new place, like mm-hmm. there's like the rental fee applications for a lot of places. Uh, did you have pay multiple of those? Uh, that only- is the biggest racket in the world. Yeah, mm-hmm. it's a racket. Uh, only two. I, I put. Uh, I applied for one place before we even looked at it, because um, it had a pool. And then we went and uh, checked it out, and the pool was freezing cold. I was like, "This pool, it's not even heated." Like, no, thank you. <laughs> so we didn't get that one. And then the second place we looked at, we got. So only, only got banged for two fees there. <laughs> here's what. Here's what you do though. You just you send them the credit report yourself oh. to get away from it. Mark got all but the workarounds, man. To- Oh, that's what they say the fee is for? That's what the fee is for. To run your credit. But you have to pay to get your credit ran, so you're not safe. No, not really. Really? (laughs) It's like Experian and shit. And you can use it it multiple times. That's true. You just run it and you get a PDF of it. Just ask them their email. Be like, what's your email? And I'll send it to you. Yeah, and your credit report, you can get uh, free once every four months or some shit. Okay. Yeah, it's free. Yeah. Well, that's a good little tip. Tricks trick. Yeah. <clears throat> if you weren't entertained, at least you learned something. Yes. Um, let's plug some stuff. Let's do it. Uh, 
what do you, and this is not necessarily stuff we're promoting uh although i'm going to do both what's what's something you would recommend to our, our audience i'm still hammering the promotion for escaping ohio it's now streaming on apple tv on amazon prime google play um go check it out go watch it go support his girl his girlfriend wrote starred and directed correct amundo so go check it out uh did uh do you they get any like feedback <laughs> on how it's doing um uh, you know what i'll have to ask her mm -hmm. that's a good question that i probably should have asked earlier but you know we had the move there's a lot going on i like on the poster it says what's so great about ohio anyway yeah so is there anything good about ohio you're looking at it Nice. No, I'm not really convinced. Oh, wow. <laughs> I have recently met a lot of people from Ohio, and I generally like them. Yeah, so far I'm two, two for two on Ohio It gets people. a lot of hate online, but I think it's a, it's a nice place. Well, you know? all the people I have I meet from there have left it, so. Mm. And they're successful, right, most of them? Uh, yeah. yeah. Well, you probably you, pro you meet them out here. LA's like all transplants anyway, mm -hmm. so. A lot of famous people from Ohio. Yeah. Halle That's Berry, awesome. LeBron. Nick Lachey. Yeah, LeBron's Lachey. probably the biggest Gary one. Uh, Jake Paul, <coughs> Logan Paul. Oh yeah. Mm-hmm. Northeast. Stepe. Stepe. Northeast. The aforementioned co-producer on this past weekend, Zach, getting a lot of playtime. Wow. I think John Gruden <laughs> is, is from the Ohio. Zach episode. We're gonna have to put John him on the thumbnail. Buster Douglas. <laughs> 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 no, it would be really. Fun. I have some funny pictures of Zach on my phone. Uh, what Steve are you plugging, Harvey? buddy? Uh, I am going to come back to me. Oh, John Gruden. You see Barstool sign him? Yeah. Yeah. I love it. Yeah, I was I was a huge Gruden grinder. I have I have multiple tweets just saying how much I like Gr Gruden uh, from like 2011. He's the best. Dude. When he would do his sit downs with his quarter the quarterbacks so before the draft. So good. Um, he there was uh, one clip he where he went to the uh, the Chicago office and he met. Uh, he was just like meeting the people, see who he wants to work with. Dave said he took him out, and this guy's all in. He barely like negotiated. Dave threw out a number, he accepted it, and he's like, "Yeah, I'll do anything." I think he's and, a little bit on the desperate side because he got fired and shit. So he's like, wants to stay in the mix. Yeah, he's definitely blackballed from uh, the NFL because yeah. because he, he said uh, he, he in an email he said uh, Roger Goodell is an anti-football pussy. <laughs> <laughs> I mean <laughs> which is incredible that's perfect for Barstool then and he also said Seamless. Dave like his goal with this he's like I just want to give I, I just want to give to the game of football no. <laughs> like he, uh, he but, pumps me up man when he's like more than anything else I need better execution I need better fucking execution <laughs> yeah. we got this spider two Y banana yeah. and uh but he went to the office and he's like meeting the people and he's sitting next to Jersey Jerry, who's a barstool personality. And uh, Jersey Jerry's like, "You wearing Creed?" Oh, I saw. <laughs> and he just guessed his cologne sitting there, and he's yeah. like, "Yeah, I am." He's like freaked yeah. out by it. Five hundred dollar bottle of cologne. I looked it up after. Um, wow. So John Gruden doesn't fuck around. Yeah, clearly. Uh, Chin, what do you what do you got to plug? I probably talked about this already, but there's this Korean girl. Her name's Jessica Lee. She does a YouTube channel. But she lives in the Philippines, spreads Filipino culture. So now, because of that, I'm super into Filipino stuff. It's a good channel. Cool. <laughs> the Philippines, Asia's Africa. Dude. What? Nothing. They, <laughs> they just have a they, they just have a very like urban culture. It's like hip hop and dance and. Uh, I think uh, Filipinos are probably second to black people best singers in the world yeah but that's my opinion i i i agree they i've been to a, a couple of filipino birthday parties and uh <laughs> they do karaoke at every one. Oh yeah and it's like everybody in the family they're uh, <laughs> incredible yeah mark what's your name again <laughs> <laughs> mark's like if you haven't seen it go check out mike tyson's ass www.miketysonsass.com I bought the URL. It's actually a good ad for Gatorade. Mm hmm. Where are you seeing that? Oh, there it is. Right what there. A... Oh. <laughs> yeah, man. Are you gonna uh, I got nothing more? to plug. I don't do anything. Nice. But no, something, no. something to recommend to the audience. Are you so interested doing in? It's plugs, quotes. Oh, I watched a good show. It's kind of old. Yeah, yeah. Um, Shit like that. It was, on, to... it was on Showtime. It's called Escape at. Danamora. Oh, yeah. It, it just got added to Netflix. That's how I saw it. <laughs> how many seasons? 
Just one. Just a limited limited and series. It's a, it's a true story. True this, it story. really happened. It, this is with Benicio, yeah? Benicio Del Toro. If you hang on a second, I'll pull it up. I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> Were they planning on doing more than one season, or was it always... Like, I think, one, no, I think it's just a limited series. Yeah, because if it's a real story, you can't like... Oh, and then Paul Dano as well. So it's like once the story's done, like whatever Benicio happened, Del you're not going like, to make Dano. up a fictitious second season of the... But that's what ha- that's what happens to most shows. I feel like I just saw a tweet today. But, it was the, like, but I don't want to spoil it for you. They can't go any further. Yeah. So they they wrap uh. this one up. But let, I mean, like Lost is an example of this. Like I think they knew what they were doing first season, but then from then on. No, 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 no. But this no, is no, no, I'm no, saying this is a fiction. real true story. Oh, oh, wait, it was, oh, I got <laughs> you. Yeah, yeah. This is I, yeah real people. This actually happened. I thought you were saying shows like always know what they're. Oh uh, no, no. Oh, they'll like the they'll drag change. stuff out if it's a success, but. Um, this was a true story. Okay. Okay. Yeah. I could get into that. This guy's hilarious. That's the husband. He's got like wonky teeth. Looks like it's just from his mouth closed. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's a good, it's a good, uh, good show. I, uh, I like this cause I kind of want a new show, but I don't like being bullied into watching the next succession or whatever right. is like the hot new how to show. Even yeah. This one like is old. So it's like, look, no pressure. It's out there. Watch Patricia it. Patricia Arquette. Yeah. Kev, what you got, player? Um, started skating again, skateboarding again. Um, but I did have a question. Oh, Kev's oh, question. Yes. This is kind of going into our topic right I'm now. I'm craving what? a Kev's question. I, I need heard a, I want a new, or something. <laughs> <laughs> I want a new show to watch, and I've never seen Sopranos. So that's like kind of number one on my list. So should I start Sopranos or should I start the Penguin and Succession at the same time? I would go Penguin Succession. I haven't watched I Penguin yet. Skip Sopranos. Yeah, I actually uh, missed the Ooh. Sopranos boat and then tried to start watching it about five years ago, and I was like, I just couldn't get into it. Really? Uh, how, yeah. How many, I mean, how many seasons I, did you did you get through? I think one and a half, one. two. Oh, it's a lot slower pace compared Definitely. to the shows now. So like I've tried watching I really liked it at the time and but I've tried watching it back and yeah, it just doesn't it definitely doesn't grab you it in was, the first season. Yeah, because it was back in the day it was like old school HBO. Yeah, so it's like it, old enough where it's like slow is like totally fine because you watch it every Sunday, it's like your thing. And it was like one of the first shows that was that like it was like Lost and then and then Sopranos on HBO mm. were like the first ones that were like you have to watch every week and you can't wait and it builds and so uh, there's no big soprano fan in here and nobody no i like it i just i don't it's ever people say it's like one of the best shows that and breaking bad mm-hmm. i i don't think it's up there with breaking bad but i think um like you're saying like if you're gonna watch one of the two shows it might be too slow mm-hmm Mm-hmm. Yeah, I mean, you have Succession, all of Succession. Yeah, I haven't. Oh, I haven't yeah, Succession. By the way, and I, Penguin, I hated Succession when it first came out. Oh, me too. But they kind of changed because they were like super so wonky zoomy. camera trying to be this, and then uh, ap- they got criticism and, and adapted. Yeah, how, how, hated long, it how long into the show did you really start to? After the first season. First season was okay. Yeah, got it. Because right. first season they shot it like one type of way, I think. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm where they were just doing like, like, you know, like in the office, they do like snap zooms and stuff like Mm -hmm. go in really quick. They were just doing it nonstop. And I'm sitting there and I'm like, I can't fucking watch this. Yeah. It was like (laughs) nauseating. Yeah. And it's like, I get it. It's like supposed to build tension and like they, it's supposed to look like a documentary, I guess almost. And they got, it's just way too much. They got feedback from just fans and just decided to change. Really? I didn't, they still would do that stuff, but I think they toned it down just a lot and just like made it such a more, it, helps it cinematically be a little bit more fluid. Mm-hmm. All, right. All right. So Succession it is. Yeah, do that. Penguin, it is. <laughs> and skateboard. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Where have you been skateboarding? A skate park or just around? Uh, there's Pan Pacific Park is yeah. right by my place and there's like basketball courts, so I'll yep. just go there, flat surface. I don't I'm not really like a trick guy. I just like to cruise, you know. That's fine. Yeah. It's fun. Nice. I just don't want to hurt myself. I'm old. Yeah. I feel That's that. That's why we don't, don't that, skate anymore. I don't know how that yeah. goes. <sighs> I thought of mine. I recommend uh, Casey Rocket, stand-up comedian. Uh, he's a Kill Tony guy, but I saw him headline at Gotham uh, when I was in uh, New, York. New York, and he's just a unique, unique stand-up. Unique um, New York. Yeah. Nice. That was good. Points yeah, m- for you. Maybe pick that one in the lower right. Oh. That's good. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> this one. Yeah. Oh, 
I thought it was going to be some stand up. Is nope. there any stand Here's up? Stand up. Didn't push me down the river like baby Moses. <laughs> Put me on your boyfriend's shoulders so I can see the stage better at Coachella. <laughs> better straighten up that spine. I'm trying to see the Arctic monkeys. <laughs> He's so weird. I love how he's just fucking yeah. perpetually moving everything out of the stage. <laughs> like, it's great. And, and I was wondering because, like, I in Kill Tony, you see him for a minute at a time. I was like, what is a full forty-five minute set? And he moves like that the whole time. He's just riffing. He's doing a little arithmetic up there. That's great. <laughs> he, he's incredible. Uh, I definitely recommend seeing him. Uh, he's not on Kill Tony quite as much anymore. Um, so if you get a chance to see him live, I'd go check it out. Uh, and also, uh, Combat Buddy. This week, um, like I said, Mark hopped in the chat. It was fun. This week, UFC in Macau, China, streaming from midnight <laughs> to 6 a.m. Be there. I'm going to try to get this episode out before Friday, uh, before midnight. Because, yeah, I'm going to stream all night. I'm going to have a bed in my office, and I'm going to stream with my girlfriend. What if you fall asleep? I won't. <laughs> <laughs> Please fall asleep. Oh my god, that would be sleep such. Streams are huge, dude. Wait, I, I are actually... they really? Uh, yeah, it's Kanye usually women. It? Okay, uh, dude. I've always right. wondered about that. People actually do that. Yeah, Kanye <laughs> did it when he was uh, recording his album. In, oh, that's uh, right. Yeah, man, that's so good. Yeah, yeah, but that's Kanye. I'm talking about just other just stream, just streamers. Yeah. That's Didn't, like I mean, thing. the original one was Andy Warhol made like an eight-hour film of just somebody sleeping. I believe. Okay. Could be wrong. Probably right. wrong. Probably That's wrong. art right there. So where? Andy Warhol. He's an artist. You don't like art? Art's pretty cool, man. I like it. What you sent something to me? No, I didn't. I uh, changed my mind. I think that's good. You don't like art? I like art. I love art. I like art. This episode brought to you by art. You go to See you Subway. Next week. You get a sandwich. This episode was art. Oh yo, my guys. <laughs> <laughs> You okay, Chester? Mm -hmm. You heard? I'll be fine. Okay. Welcome to the ad that I was pop. Cut the diss, then I switch your chin's love. Hey, y'all. Welcome to the ad that I was pop. Gang, Gang baby, praise God. Yeah. Welcome to the after hours pop. Hey, y'all. Welcome to the after hours pop.